In this video, we're going to highlight new features related to compiled report settings in Adapt Builder 2020. If we go into the Reports ribbon in Adapt Builder, we can see that there are several different reporting options for report setup, compiled reports, single default reports, and analysis reports. Many times a user wants to compile multiple single default reports into what we call the report compiler. And if we open the report compiler, we can see the different sections that the user can select from to generate a compiled report. These are expandable, and there's a lot of data here that can, can go into a compiled report, including customized graphical options and so on. For a few tabular and graphical reports, in previous versions, the user was required to actually produce that report as a singular report before adding it to the compiler. Otherwise, the compiler wouldn't be able to produce that report with the information needed. If we go under the compiled report options and go to settings, this is a new option that allows the user to set up specific information related to these report types before compiling the report. So this saves the user time from having to go and search, for example, for tendon, display manager, set up the display settings for tendons, turn the tendons on, and then go to the compiled report. This is a option that allows the user to go here and set up all of these reports in one shot. So we can look at the report product and title settings. This is used in title block information for graphical reports as well as the header for tabular reports. If we go under the design section forces report, this allows the user to select what design combinations will be used to generate the forces report. If we didn't do this prior, we would have a blank report introduced into the report compiler. Another tabular report would be the design section rebar report. This is similar to the reforces or to the design section forces report in that the user selects the combinations whether or not you want to envelope the combination results. And again, we produce that tabular report. Graphical reports, column reactions, wall reactions, tendon and rebar plan. If we go to column reactions, this just allows the user to set the graphical view of column reactions based on a group of selected combinations where we can envelope the results for a specific result type. Maybe it's the axial force, the shear forces, the moments. Or if we select a single combination, we can display this showing here FR, FZ, FS, etc. at one time. So this sets up a graphical column reaction report that would then be used in the report compiler. The wall reaction report is similar to column. The same settings apply both for enveloping and also for singular combinations. And then finally we have the tendon plan and rebar plan. If I go ahead and turn the tendons on, you'll notice that the tendons are just shown graphically as objects. They're basically just lines with points along those lines. I may want to show information like the total effective force, the control points, the strand uh, quantity, etc. So we can go to tendon settings, or excuse me, to report settings, compiled report settings, tendon plan, and we can define those pieces of information we want to include in this graphical view of the tendon. So I might want number of strands, effective force, and so on. It may be elongation. And that will then be produced as part of this view that goes into the compiled report. The last setting was the rebar plan. Now this is currently inactive. I have to produce the reinforcement before I can set up the rebar plan information. So in this case, we would go through, we would design all of our design strips. After we've designed the design strips and the design sections, we can then use the calculated rebar plan option from the floor design ribbon or in the rebar ribbon, the same option here. That just essentially produces the reinforcement on plan. If we go back to the report settings for the compiled report, that becomes active and then we can set up the options for display, again, that go into the compiled report. Once that's done, if we generate the compiled report and we include those particular graphical reports, for example, 
maybe we want to include the rebar plan. The rebar plan here would carry the information we had set in the settings for that particular report. If you have any questions about this new feature, please contact us at adaptsupport at Thank you.